Pass my mountain leader exam so I did the training which is one of my videos um, so now I'm a qualified mountain leader um, so I did my training up in Snowdonia um, yeah and it was it was difficult we had some really rough um, really rough weather really rough um, absolute horizontal rain um, high winds it was like 50 mile an hour winds um, luckily we camped in a little shelt, uh, sheep fold so we had some shelter um, but yeah passed it got through it all um, Matt reading on the night nav that was something else um, ooh, out of the way dog um, yeah Matt reading in the rain when you're looking for a little tiny blue dot of a lake or a tarn up the top of a mountain in the rain <laughs> when your whole map map case is covered in dots yeah difficult and you're using your compass like a windscreen wiper yeah yeah i i definitely earned my night nerf badge um but um yeah but it all went well but we had some pretty manky weather started off nice weather at the beginning of the week manky weather for the exp expedition but i wouldn't change it for a thing because it that's the thing you never if you're not pushing yourself you're not going to learn anything and if you can't put yourself in those kind of situations if I'm with a group of young people and I get in that situation I'm not going to know what to do so always better to be pushing yourself out of the way Mutt. always better to be pushing yourself push your um I was talking to someone the other day um about medical kits and what sort of stuff I take out into the mountains so now I'm a mountain leader. This is a this is my kind of personal kit, um, but it does bridge over, and some of it's useful for um, taking groups out. So first of all, we've got a so this is a weightlifting um, knee brace. So it's an elastic type thing, curls up. It's pretty small, but if you twist an ankle, if your knee starts hurting, you can just put this straight over the top of your trousers and strap yourself up and you can strap it really tight if you need awesome amount of support. Also, if someone's broken a leg, you could strap a branch to it or something to give a bit more support. Um, also can be used as like a triangular bandage, like as a sling around your neck. So um, pretty multi-use. Um, even if your strap goes on your bag, but there's just like so many different uses for it. Um, and even to stop bleeding or some sort of tourniquet if you really have to. Okay. So kept in a waterproof bag with my name on it and my blood type, just in case someone finds me unconscious. Okay. So this is just like a little wash bag with a zip on it. So, right, Vaseline, really useful. Um, for starting fires and just when you get chap lips um the aloe vera one's pretty good um but in the little pots like this this you can offer around and everyone stick their finger in it whereas the screw out ones you don't want a load of kids I mean, licking licking on the end of that so that's the reason for that right a bunch of cable ties so if someone's boots split if a bag breaks yeah cable ties all day long always carry them really really useful right a little syringe right so obviously this doesn't come with a needle this is just a syringe so really good for irrigating wounds if someone's got a nasty cut 
and there's a load of dirt in it, you can suck up clean water out of your bottle and clean that wound. Also with burns or if someone's got something in their eye, just for flushing it out, so much easier and obviously in a sterile pack. So that's all good, isn't it? Right, so we've got a low adherent dressing pad. Then we've got a bunch of plasters, just normal. Um, there's some blue ones in there as well, or the, the food ones. Um, but when you do the leave no trace thing, I like using the blue ones because you can tell if the kids have dropped them. Right, so I've got a loads of pills in here, which is paracetamol, aspirin, um, ibuprofen, and antihistamine the little antihistamine pills so, you, so to, just to save space i've cut them down like that and you can see it's paracetamol it's pretty straightforward um and then on the outside of that we've got a reel of gaffer tape gaffer tape really really good for when people's feet starting to hurt if you're starting to get a hot spot you can just tear off a square of gaffer tape dry the area slap that on and it just gives you an extra five or six layers of skin if you know what i mean um also for breakages torn waterproofs you know the drill with gaffer tape right antibacterial hand gel a sanitary product which is really good for bad wounds because it's designed to suck up blood um good as a fire starter as well because it's cotton wool so Good one and it's really really because it's just super super compressed cotton wool and obviously there are you do sometimes take girls up mountains okay a lighter and a cohesive bandage which is um like that gum wrap stuff but it's an elasticy type bandage so that's quite a decent one to carry that's that one then we've got some um zinc oxide tape which is another good one for sore feet. What's we got in here? We've got a sterile first aid dressing, a sterile first aid dressing, some water purification tablets, a compass, because you're always gonna need a spare compass just in case you break yours, rubber gloves in case someone's bleeding, and energy um, gel. Now, if someone is getting hypothermic and they need a bit of energy just to carry on with the day, you can give them some of this and hopefully you'll at least get them moving um, and warm them up a bit. So energy, really, really useful to carry. Um, then we've got one of these Mylar blankets. Um, yeah, a little Mylar blanket. So it's like a big bivy bag obviously a job from aliexpress but a decent thing to have um don't undo them only undo them when you need them because you're never going to get them folded up as small but that'll keep someone warm if they do get injured so that's useful a little pencil so you can make notes we've got rehydration treatment we we Rehydration treatment, we've got cold and flu, we've got rehydration treatment, we've got accident report form. So you can take the details of the person before you phone the emergency services. Um, you should be carrying that anyway, um, but things like you can jot on here as well like your locations you can work out your grid reference before your phone mountain rescue which is saves you so much time because they go where are you and you go uh don't know yeah so you can go on um os locate or my three words which is quite a decent app that's uh, getting quite a lot of traction at the moment right at the bottom of that pocket right so got some wound seal um which is it's like a clotting compound. Now, you do not use this on anyone other than yourself. Yeah, because we're not trained to give it, so I wouldn't ever use it on anyone but myself. But if I'm bleeding, I'm going to stick it on myself. A couple of the screwy tick remover tools, because um, the Lake District and, and East Anglia as well are getting a lot of ticks lately. And a needle and thread. Okay, needle and thread just for like damaged clothes, 
sewing stuff up just to stop the water pouring in or someone rips their tent yeah it's gonna keep it going still more still more all right that's everything out of there right so we've got a burn gel burn first aid gel we've got blister pastas so these are from Audi they're like 65p in Audi and they're actually pretty decent we've got a mirror now a mirror is pretty good if you get something in your own eye or cut the back of your head yeah okay you got your you got your camera but not all you can't always see it so you could hold your camera up in front of your face and hold this at the back if you cut the back of your head or got something in your eye so a mirror decent thing and use it for signaling as well in an emergency situation if you really want to right now these little sachets are um suntan lotion so uh they're factor 50 i'm oh, sorry factor 45 little sachets of because you don't want to be caught out um even even on in snow the amount of reflection you'll get up on your nose and your face and when you're dealing with kids a lot as well kids never remember sunscreen so decent one to carry and then in here is some In here we got some uh, steri strip wound closure strips and then antibacterial wipes. So there you go. Now I've got to get it all back in again. <laughs> right, so I also forgot this. Sorry. <laughs> I, I, I took it out, I was gonna show you it last. So this is by Polymath Products, and there's some string, there's a whistle. This has also got a ferro rod. On the side of it which is a handy thing to have and then inside here there is um, fishing hooks and needles there's a tiny little torch um, yeah all sorts of gear crammed in there and there's a little compass there's a glow in the dark end on it as well um, I'm not gonna take it all out because it takes forever to get it back in again but yeah nice nice little setup there and both ends unscrew um, so you can unscrew this end and there's your baby compass, which is better than nothing. Um, and then there's some fishing hooks, some fishing line, some weights, um, and some um, waxed card as well for fire starting. So if you're really, really stuck, you'll get a fire going with that. So yeah, worth carrying. It yeah, doesn't weigh nothing. It's a tiny little, tiny little kit. Um, so what else is going on? What else is going on? Oh yeah, got a new doggo. Saw the little black one. So that's Missy. Um, so occasionally, so Preston being a cockapoo. Where is he? Preston, your mouth. Yeah. He's a good boy. So Preston being Preston. No, don't go near the road. Go on. Preston being a cockapoo, really, really sociable dog. Um, doesn't like being left on his own. So if I have to pop out for a couple of hours to save him being stressed and cheesed off, we've got him some company who is little miss down here. Missy, miss, 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 be doing. You good girl, sit, missy, sit. So she's four months old. She's actually a sprudel or a springer poo. Good girl. Um, and she keeps Mr. Preston company. So they, they get on so well, they'll cuddle up on, on the, in their bed together um, or run around fighting and woofing at each other, but they keep each other company. So it gives me a wife a break as well. Um, so when I'm away for weeks on, weeks on, uh, on end, um, so I've, I've probably got, probably got, I'm probably away about 20 weeks next year um, with projects and whatnot. Um, so leaving my wife at home on her own gives her some company as well. So there we go. New dog out. So anyway, so GoPro Hero 7 Black um, is what I'm filming this on. Um, filming it in 2.7K. We'll see if I can even edit it. Um, but really, this is just a test of walk around the circle with the doggos. Um, let you know what I'm up to. 
what other stuff am I up to? Oh, I don't know really. Uh, as for leather making videos, um, really want to get some more done. Now I've got this, I can do some tabletop stuff and it can stay in focus. Um, really looking forward to doing some more leather working stuff. Um, I quite enjoy it, I find it relaxing, but it does take a lot of time. And if you're filming it, it takes twice as long. Um, so I made like knobby a little pouch. I started filming it. And it I just like <laughs> I've got to get this. I've got to get this done. So I just stopped filming and didn't release the video. Um, so if you've uh, if you saw my previous video, which is the um, three day survival camp thing, uh, that was a lot harder than it sort of comes across in the video. Um, I should have made it a three part but I didn't get that much footage because I was filming on my phone and it just wasn't it's just not as easy to pull out a phone in a click film click film so as Nobby had his we set, had his GoPro we were setting up time lapses and his videos are amazing so go check out step away from the screens um,